This is one on one session with the Forum IS founder and director Ayush Sinha. In this session, students are asked questions to test their preparedness for the personality test. One on one sessions are not mock panel sessions. So, Devesh, can you introduce yourself to me? Uh, yes, sir. So, my name is Devesh Chaturvedi. I am a native of Varanasi. I have done my graduation in mechanical engineering from IIT ISM Dhanwad in the year 2019. Uh, currently, I am working as deputy collector in the district Itawa of Uttar Pradesh government. And sir, my hobby is badminton and watching sitcoms. And sir, I hope and I wish to serve as an IS officer in the country one day. All right, Devesh. So you love to watch you play badminton and watch sitcoms. Yes, sir. So I hear these days young people like you are watching sitcom, rom-com. What is what is sitcom? What is rom-com? <clears throat> sir, uh, sitcom is actually a situational comedy and sir, rom-com, it's romantic comedy. Sir, in sitcoms, there is a set of characters who would, uh, who would, uh, they, uh, and, uh, there would be a lot number of episodes which will eventually show how these characters, they are uh, carrying forward the episode. And sir, in, there is a, uh, I would say a comedy kind of setup would be there. There would be in there were few shows where uh, the audience would be laughing as well in the background. All right, Devesh, what does your name mean? Mm, sir, it means Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva. Lord Shiva. Yes. Sir. So Lord Shiva is given other names like Shankar. Yes, sir. Any other name of Lord Shiva that you can recall? Sir, uh, Mahadev. He's also called Bhole Baba. Is also called. Can you tell me what is the context in which he is called Shankar, and when he is called Mahadev? Sorry, sir, I'm not aware of this. I will, I will have to read about this. What are the major challenges before UP as a state today? Sir, there are various challenges uh, in the UP. So starting with the social challenge, the demographic. We have a huge demographic potential, but sir, it it is on a verge of turning into demographic disaster because of. Uh, bad social indicators like literacy, health uh, health uh, prospects, they are not up to the mark. So secondly, we have agriculture-based economy. Uh, in, the, uh, in the economic perspective, sir, agriculture-based economy, it's not fruitful, uh, especially in the eastern sector, eastern part of India. And sir, in the western part of India, there is a high inequality between the farmers. So going along uh, the political uh, aspect, I would say, sir, there are some uh, political administrative sectors. So there are corruption is uh, corruption issues, uh, which is very much prevalent in uh, UP. And sir, overall, the perception wise, I would also say UP, uh, it's not seen as a very good state if a foreigner or if anyone outside of UP is that. So, so sir, the perception of UP is also not good. These are the challenges which uh, make uh, UP a laggard state. All right, Devish, uh, is do you think that Given the regional inequity in Uttar, do you think that there is a need to bifurcate or trifurcate this? Uh, yes, sir. Prima facie, it would seem that it would be prudent to divide the UP in order to get more uh, administrative ben uh, benefit. But, sir, the problem of with UP is uh, quite difficult. If we are going to divide the state, the problems that would emerge, they would be of much more... Uh, Grave. The problems would be much grave. So, for example, if we are to divide the UP, for example, the Bundel Khand region. So, Bundel Khand region does not have its own, any kind of economic potential is not present in the Bundel Khand region that it can uh, it can develop uh, on its own. It will have to be dependent on the uh, central grants. So, secondly, the Purvanchal region also. Sir, it would lie in the region of Bihar and Jharkhand, which which are still in the zone of perpetual poverty. And so presently, UP being a large state, but it has been connected by, by the efforts of incumbent government. It has been connected by various expressways, various highways, various uh, type of investments are also coming in the country. So slowly and steadily, sir, the state is developing. And if we divide the state, sir, these development may not be full. So can you give me a comparison of the challenges of Western Uttar Pradesh versus Eastern Uttar Pradesh? Yes, sir. <clears throat> sir uh, I'll start with the social challenges. There are sir, various challenges. So first of all, in the social aspect only. So the West UP, it sees more of a caste, uh, communal angle. There is a much more communal 
tensions are present in the uh, west up and so the caste based angles the caste based discrimination it's higher in eastern up so secondly uh, in uh, western up so the per capita income of people it is higher as compared to western up but the inequality is also higher land sizes are higher but due to which sir the farmers are also very much distressed but sir in uh, eastern up the land sizes are small but the farmer they are uh, subsist subsistence farmer there are two number of farmer very small sizes of land are there and sir third overall governance wise i would say i'm uh, i'm also working in itawa which sir, lies in the i would say junction of east and west up so the governance wise i would say west up is more streamlined as compared to east up uh devish uh, what is the reason that certain towns of up uh, such as greater noida they could not develop whereas cities in haryana's you know haryana bordering ncr that is gurgaon that is developed better than noida and greater noida what could be the reason ab uh, sir i'm not aware of the exact reason but i can uh, i feel there are two they can be two different reasons so because it was first is the state difference what kind of opportunities is being provided by the state in a particular uh, district so you know, the you know or you don't know devesh uh, sir i'm not aware of the exact uh, things um, i don't know is there corruption in up yes sir it is there how is how would you currently rate or summarize about the law and order situation in uttar pradesh so law and order situation in up it's becoming better than uh, than it was some 5 to 10 years ago the daily crime rates in the up is the as per ncrb data the crime against women the crime against elderly the crime of theft so they have reduced uh, reduced by a significant amount but sir the uh, still the law and order situation it's much more higher than other states so it's prevalent devesh uh the ganges river passes through the longest stretch in uttar pradesh yes sir why we are not able to clean it despite every government being committed to cleaning the ganga so the because uh, sir ganga is it's highly revered river in the world i would say and sir the maximum population the population pressure in up is much higher so there are various industries as well as uh, i would say the traditional practices are taking place so for example there are tanneries industries in kanpur as well as uh, uh, there are a large amount of large a large horde of pilgrims they take a dip in uh, sangam and sir in varanasi there is a huge uh, funerary uh, rites they are uh, done on the ghats itself which contributes to a large number of uh, i would say pop pollution although sir efforts are been made ganga has cleaned but sir still the we have a long way to go kanpur is set to contribute yes. to the pollution in ganga in some ways yes uh how why is what contribution does kanpur make in the pollution in river ganga uh yes sir sir uh, two aspects that come to my mind uh, which are major in the kanpur region so first is uh, the tanneries production which is uh, which is derived from skin uh, skin of animals the so second is the sewage discharge is it's one of the highest uh, kanpur is one of the major cities of up and sir the untreated fluids which majorly goes into the river and sir there are some sewage treatment plants which are not working efficiently in the some regions and sir apart from that uh, there are various other non point source pollution which is also causing the pollution in the ganga all right devesh um, so you are already selected in state services yes you sir. are getting to work with the grassroots so don't tell yes, me you want to work with the grassroots that is why you are looking for joining the ias tell me why do you want yes. to be a ias officer so why i i want to become an ias officer i'm sorry so that was a question i have no i was not able to hear it properly yes 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 why are you unhappy being an sdm you've been selected as a deputy collector right yes working sir. why you are so unhappy you want to again write the exam and join ias yes sir uh sir uh, i'm very happy that i'm presently selected i'm fortunate enough to be selected as a deputy collector and sir uh, there is a provision that after some years i would get uh, inducted into ias but sir while i was growing up uh, there have been 
I have been uh, there have been natural inclination towards the civil services. I used to hear tales about some of the IS officers who did wonderfully well while uh, they were posted in their districts. So I remember one incident. He was uh, Mr. Uh, I'm not able to correctly remember his name. Sir, he, uh, while my father, he was posted in Sitapur for the first time, Lok Wani was introduced. I didn't know what it was, but I just knew that this is the person, this is an IS officer, and uh, he has made some, he has done something which has made lives of people much easier. And sir, he was chief guest in our school back then, and sir, and recently, two days before I heard, uh, I read that he had won a UN medal for this achievement. And sir, so this thing did kind of, kind of get stuck into my mind that, uh, I guess it, they actually possess a lot of prestige as well as respect. And so they can do a lot to make uh, lives of people much easier. So that has been my dream. And so also IS would provide me an all India level platform and much diversified roles, better career progression. So these are the factors that uh, I want to try again for this service. All right, Devish, your interview is over. Thank you, sir.